Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Peugeot 308, and it's the 1.6 HDI Active model. This particular car is registered WP61CAO, and mileage at the start of the road test is 76,055 miles. The reason we do these road tests essentially is so anyone looking at this car in the adverts online actually gets to see that car in operation, in, in motion as such. Um, pardon me. Um, it's also done on the same very quiet country roads, very, very close to our premises. So hopefully be representative of what you'd feel if after a test drive on the car. Um, the reason we do it is if there's any faults with the vehicle, we can relay them to you prior to you coming to see us. That way you know, it saves you a trip, you know, if there's something fundamentally wrong with the car. Uh, we, we're well aware that many of our customers come from a huge distance from us, um, so the least we can do is to go to the time and trouble to do this. Very brief background to this particular car, um, it's because it's not our normal car, that we are Honda and Lexus specialists, um, but obviously we take non-franchise cars if you like on pilot exchange which is what we've done in this case the chap bought a civic from me um so you know relatively new to me in some ways because it's the first of the 308s i've driven um but it actually drives very very nicely the engine starts absolutely instantly um settles to completely smooth even idle and it pulls really really nicely very sweet very quiet very very refined for a diesel in fact you wouldn't really know it was a diesel in day-to-day -day driving it's, it's, it's that smooth um, just worth pointing out when this video finishes it's going to be going to a local garage uh, where it'll be serviced and it'll have an independent MOT placed upon it we don't do our own MOTs for fairly obvious reasons uh, there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or gearbox or any other part of the vehicle for that matter Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch on the car is absolutely perfect. It's smooth, it's positive, bite point is spot on, and it bites beautifully on the car. Whether the clutch is in or out, there's no change in engine note, no vibrations, nothing at all. Clutch then feeds through into the um, gearbox, and I have to say, and I've been very impressed because my experience of previous Peugeots from years and years ago has rather sort of tainted my opinion on, on them a little bit uh, but the gear change is really nice it's slick it's smooth it's positive it's really easy to um, operate and i can't feel anywhere through the linkage at all it feels absolutely spot on steering of the car is lovely actually very smooth fluid um, it tracks absolutely dead straight and there's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel at all. The whole car feels very taut and tight to be fair to it. It doesn't, I can't detect anywhere through the vehicle at all. It feels really, really impressive. Um, but it's very nice steering, it's got a lovely weight to it and it works perfectly with the chassis which is a typical uh, Persia chassis in that it's, it's very, very good indeed. Rides very well. What I'm looking out for is when you go over a bump like that are there any kind of secondary noises or chattering the way through the chassis any sort of clonks or knocks that shouldn't be there and there's nothing at all it rides serenely it really does um, very very comfortable nice body control uh, flows really nicely as they've always done in the past and this is no exception it really is a very pleasant car to drive uh, but all absolutely spot on it's going to brakes a bit of a shove when i get around the corner a second really nice solid brake pedal on the car what i'm looking out for especially on the initial brake pedal application is any kind of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal and there's nothing at all it's absolutely rock solid and good um, but also that when it brings the nose down in the car it brings it down straight doesn't pull left or right violently in any way and it doesn't at all it's absolutely spot on it's going to swing around here because we're pretty much at the halfway point or slightly over it looking around inside the car it's been kept very 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 nicely indeed it's in lovely condition in here and again Peugeot really have done a good job because it's far better than Peugeot built built than Peugeot's of years gone by certainly inside it feels nicely made 
there's not a squeak or a buzz or a creak from the interior at all it just feels a really nice family car lovely and solid as well um in a way that i i, I wasn't expecting i'm going to be brutally honest with you but it's it's very very nice indeed um, everything's working exactly as it should all the dials all the instrumentation readouts um, you've got the cruise control the climate control system or air conditioning system works absolutely perfectly um, but yeah it, it said it's been it has been very well looked after and it's obvious in, in all honesty um, as I said at the start of the video the point of them is actually to be critical so if there's something not quite right on the car you'll get to know about it but genuinely there's nothing to report back you know no matter whether you're coming 10 minutes up the road or a few hours or a day across Europe um, you won't be disappointed in the drive of the car it drives exactly as it should do um, very very impressive car actually um, having said that if I've missed something on the video don't hesitate do give us a call and I'll happily answer any questions you might have about this car